Hi, so in this video we're going to see how to diagnose the laptop motherboard power jack. So as you can see here, this is the power jack, okay here, as you can see this is the positive terminal here in the center and over here we have the negative terminals, okay. So here the power jack is connected to the motherboard via this cable, so this is the positive terminals that is connected to the center terminal in the power jack and over here we have the negative terminals, the black wires, okay? The center wire is empty, not used, okay? So always do red wires for positive and black wires for negative. So we're gonna use the multimeter, okay, to check this power jack cable. So of course, we will choose the diode or the continuity op option. So let's move the selector to the continuity option, as you can see here. So this is the diode or the continuity option, and let's press the power button of the multimeter. Now let's put one probe of the multimeter in the power jack, the positive terminal, okay, as you can see, and let's put the second probe in the other side, as you can see, we have a continuity. It means the positive terminals is connected to the motherboard successfully. So let's check now the negative terminal, of course with the black wires or with the black terminals in the connector. So this power jack cable is a serviceable one, so there is no problem over here in this power jack cable. Here we have two MOSFETs or switches, as you can see, near to the power jack, and this is the diode. This is protection com component. The diode is a protection component. So let's see another motherboard, as you can see here, we have another power jack. Here in this motherboard, we're gonna to check it also. So here, this is the connector in the motherboard and we have the power jack. So the power jack is connected to the motherboard via this cable. This cable here, we have the positive terminal and the negative terminal, as you can see. Okay, so the cable contains, as you can see, four pins, two red wires, as you can see, and two black wires. So the red wires is for a positive and a black wire connected to the ground. As you can see for this connector, it contains four pins, okay? As you can see. So let's now check this power jack using, of course, the multimeter. We're gonna see, put the multimeter to the buzzer or to the continuity option. And then we going to check this power jack cable. Of course, so let's put one terminal of the multimeter and as you can see, okay, terminals we have continued. Let's check right now the negative terminal. As you can see, the negative terminal is here in the side. So the positive in the center and negative in the sides of the power jack. So let's check now, as you can see, okay, we have continuity in both terminals, means the power jack is good. So of course, there is other kinds of power DC power jack like this. It is connected directly to the motherboard without any cable. Okay, so the same working principle, you can just check, check it with the motherboard. Of course, for this kind of power jack, you should pay attention to the terminals that is connected to the motherboard. You should pay attention to the solder. If you find any dry solder, you should make a new solder. Okay, so always pay atten attention to dry solder for this kind of power jack, as you can see. All these are terminals. All these terminals should be connected correctly to the motherboard without any dry solder, okay? Here we have MOSFETs, as you can see, switches, and this is diodes. 
This is for protection. The always the diodes protect other circuit. If there is an overcurrent or over voltage, the diode will protect the whole motherboard. So let's see another motherboard. As you can see here, we have also the DC power jack is connected directly to the motherboard, as you can see. So, but for this power jack, it is a bad power jack here as you can see this is a burned power jack okay this is a burned power jack so that's why always you have to or you should do a visual inspection when you want to troubleshoot or to, to diagnose any motherboard you should begin with a visual inspection for example for this power jack it is burned without doing a visual inspection you can you cannot find out if this power jack is serviceable or not okay so to check it of course you can use the same working principle 